dance lesson on number and algebra. Fractions are used to show us parts of a whole. In a fraction, the top number is the numerator and tells us how many parts out of the whole. The bottom number is the denominator and tells us how many parts are in the whole. What are improper fractions? Improper fractions have numerators that are bigger than the denominator. That means their top number is always bigger than their bottom number. Improper fractions always have a value greater than one. What are mixed numerals? Mixed numerals are made up of whole numbers and a fraction. For example, one and two thirds. Mixed numerals always have a value greater than one. An improper fraction and a mixed numeral are just different ways of writing the same value. While an improper fraction focuses on the total number of parts we have, a mixed numeral looks at how many whole values we have and then how many parts are left over. An easy way of converting between simple improper fractions and mixed numerals is to draw their pictures. When we have the pictures, we can easily see how many parts we have in total and how many wholes. For example, in this first picture, we have two pizzas cut into four slices. If the orange shaded slices are the pieces I ate, we could say that I have eaten five slices, or we could also say that I have eaten one whole pizza and one slice. I've still eaten the same amount of pizzas, whether we say I've eaten five slices or whether we say I've eaten one whole pizza and one slice. Here are some more examples of improper fractions and their equivalent mixed numerals. The first picture here shows 31 shaded pieces with each hole cut into 10. We can write our improper fraction as 31 over 10, or we can write it as a mixed numeral and say we have three holes and one piece out of 10. Drawing simple fractions and mixed numerals can be an easy way of converting between them and makes it easier to order them and place them on a number line.